In order to make the Captain America shield, we're going to go ahead and grab an object, simple object, and grab a sphere. The size should be correct when you spawn it. And you're going to go ahead and just connect this to the person and then also to your Captain America texture. Go into the sphere settings and you're going to turn this one invisible, turn off destructible because it's his Captain America shield. Then we're going to go ahead and turn the center connection points on. It'll be connected from the center for all around protection. And we also want to have the color be red, just in case somehow it, you do want it to break, so make sure it's set to that. If it's indestructible, not such a big deal. There we go, that's what it's supposed to look like right there. And right now it's not gonna be able to move, but we have our shields, we have everything we need. Next we're gonna be setting up our launcher. So we're gonna go into objects, launch, destroy, attract, launch, and then set the launch 10 objects here. And we're gonna need a texture to put on there. We're gonna take the Captain America one and just reuse it. We don't need to do anything fancy. All we have to do is make sure we change the face from Z minus to Y plus, and it should be coming out on top. Connect it up to this launcher here. And then we need to go into the launcher settings. Now there are a few things we need to change. Turn visible and destructible off. We need the material to be zero gravity. And we need the color to be uh, most likely red for his shield, right? Also turn the launch speed down to maybe five, launch interval up to two. Now for the direction, we want the direction to be Z minus for the launch. That should be good. Now we can hook it up to the person and let's see what happens. There we go. Now it's looking pretty good. Of course, we don't have any control over it yet. So let's go ahead and assign a button for this. We're going to do input button press. Let's make it the X button just to make it easy on us, and we'll use that for launching. Now we should be able to control it, and we're throwing the shield at will, which is perfect, and we can't throw it too fast. But we have a problem. It's still visible in front of him, and this is what took me a while to figure out. How do we make that shield invisible? The answer is surprisingly simple. Head into the middle section and grab a timer node on. Then we're going to hook this up to the X button. We're going into the timer settings, turning the output after down to zero, Continue output to 2. This is going to tell it to continue for 2 seconds after we press the button. And we go into logic and the not no don. We're going to hook that up to the timer and hook this not up to visible on the shield texture. And it's simple as that. Now when we press the shield button to throw, looks like it disappears. It's still there, it's just invisible, but it creates a really cool effect. Until next time, happy building and God bless.